What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on SAT math from the Scalar Learning Channel. And this is a super, super important video that I've wanted to make for a long time because it's all about the three biggest fears of SAT math and how to smash them. And the reason why this video is so important is because test anxiety and math anxiety can play a huge role in how somebody performs on an important standardized test like the SAT. So I'm gonna talk about three of the biggest and most common fears that I see in my students and show you exactly how to mentally defeat them, vanquish them, get them out of there. By the way, before we begin, I just want to talk about our SAT math video course, which is amazing, it's epic, and it's available now. And moreover, we are running an incredible special starting Wednesday before Thanksgiving our pre black friday sale we're dropping the price to 15 dollars a month you can sign up and cancel whenever you want and that includes four custom made practice tests with video explanations for every single question this is the best way to learn sat math it also comes fully equipped with my critical concept videos ordered out special pdfs that you can download and use to memorize the critical concepts and the math formulas that you need and moreover we have an amazing meditation video to help you calm your nerves and release whatever anxiety you may have when you're trying to study if you want to check it out the link is in the description below Let's do it. So the first biggest fear is that I can't improve my score. Now, this comes from a lot of places, but one of the main places it comes from is people mistakenly believe that the SAT is a pure intelligence test, something akin to an IQ test. And I said this a million times in so many videos, but if you haven't seen any of my other videos and you haven't seen my opinion on this, I think that's total nonsense. And I'll tell you why. This is an English test and a math test. Those are both topics that you can learn, that you can master, and that you can crush on this test. When has anybody's approach ever been on a math test in school to just be like, well, whatever I got, I got, and they just go for it. It doesn't work like that. You have to take practice tests. You have to do practice problems. You have to ask questions. You have to learn the critical concepts. So if somebody has mistakenly given you this perspective that you can't improve your score, take it from me. I improved my score a ton when I was in high school, and now I've got it to a point where it's only by practice. It's not because I'm a mathematician or anything like that, where I can effortlessly get an 800 and that's by understanding the material. So if you have the time and you have the effort and you have the drive, you can do it. And if you don't believe me, listen to all the testimonials that are on my channel of students that haven't even gotten tutoring but have just used this channel effectively to master the section and have huge gains. So I said it before, I'll say it again, you can 100% improve your score. The onus is on you though to put in the work. Fear number two, there's just too much math to learn. Now, I've talked to other math folks that have looked at the SAT and said from afar, man, it's just so much variation, so many topics. It's just, you just can't prepare for it. You just gotta go in and do your best. And I understand that perspective. It can look like the variation is too difficult to predict, but when you really dive into somebody like me or other YouTubers or other amazing standardized test prep tutors, just like anything, when you see it over and over and over and you really study it, you see the patterns and the patterns are right there. The College Board doesn't even try and hide them. They actually very specifically state everything that's being covered on the test, the specific topics, the type of questions, it's all out there and they want it out there in the open. Moreover, all of this math is stuff that you've likely already covered in high school. It's geometry, it's algebra two, it's a little bit of trig, but that's all stuff that you've covered in your core curriculum math classes. If you're just now beginning this journey and you're thinking, man, I just can't do it. There's just too much. It's impossible. That might be what it looks like from afar, but as you dive in, I guarantee you, you can break this down. There are a specific number of topics on this test. There are 41 in particular. It's all on Khan Academy laid out plain as day. Trust me, take it from me. You can see all my videos on YouTube, see what I know. I know this test backwards and forwards and there's not too much to learn. You can absolutely do it. Finally, fear number three is that you might be saying, well, I'm just a bad test taker. I can't do it. I'm, I've always been bad at standardized tests. I understand where this perspective comes from and you may have had a history of bad attempts with different standardized tests in the past. But let me tell you, that type of mentality is just other people feeding you that negativity. Take the example of playing a video game. Does anybody ever come up and say, well, man, I'm just bad at video games. I'm, I'm not even gonna try because I'm probably gonna be terrible. If you like video games, you don't think like that. You just sit down and think I'm gonna have fun. And guess what? Even if you're terrible at the beginning, you're gonna get reasonably good as you just practice and play and enjoy it. But that's how we look at video games or games or anything like that where the pressure is off. You're just like, well, I'm gonna play and you're naturally 
naturally going to get better. It's the same thing with this. You will naturally get better. The anxiety will lessen and your skills will improve as you practice, practice, practice. Certainly there are differences in how people can perform on various standardized tests if you eliminate practice and you eliminate preparation. But what I've seen is the single biggest determinant in terms of how somebody performs on this test is their grit and their willingness to put in the work and really do what they need to do to accomplish their goals. So in conclusion, if your fear is that you're just a bad test taker and this mountain is too high to climb, once again, when it comes to the math section, I'm telling you, you can do it. And there are tons of resources. Of course, there are mine, but there's tons of other people who don't like my stuff. There's so much out there that you can use as free, which are at your disposal for your success. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click that like button. And if you want to see more videos from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining. And I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.